Welcome back to a brand new series. In this series we're going to be creating a top-down dungeon game or a roguelike from start to finish including moving around with different animations, attacking with a bow, magic and the sword, how to have random items appear and random enemies and have doors that open and close. So if this is something that you're interested in make sure you subscribe and follow on for more videos. But let's make a start of our video today. First of all, I'm using the dungeon tile set from Butch today from Open Game Art. I'll put a link in the description. So these are going to be the images that I'm going to use to create my dungeon because I'm not very creative when it comes to the pixel art. So I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to call it Roguelike and make a start. And what I like to do with a new construct file is just zoom out just a little bit so I can see my viewport nice and clearly. I'm going to start by creating some sprites. So I'm going to right click, insert a new object. I'm going to start my ground. So to do this, I'm just going to get a tiled background. I'm going to call this ground and just click where I want it to start. Now I can use the tools here to create my own background. So I can resize, I can crop, but for speedness of the video and because I'm not very good at pixel arts, I'm just going to import one. So I'm going to import the ground here, press X. Now the tiled background is just going to repeat the same image over and over again. So I can use this to create my floor just like so. Next I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, insert a new object, call it sprite, and I'm going to call this wall one. Now I'm going to have two walls for my game. The first one is going to be one that you can see if you're looking towards it, and the other one's going to be one that's at the bottom of the screen that has a slightly different look. This comes clear when we put them in. So let's add my first wall. And this one's going to be wall back. I'm going to zoom in so I can see it. And I've got a bit of white space on each side, so I'm just going to hit the crop button to get rid of that. And I've got my image here. And I've got two options. I can stretch this image out, but you'll see that it's going to start losing its original shape. It's going to look quite awful. Or I can copy and paste it. Now, what I'm going to do to make copy and pasting easier, so I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to add a grid. So I'm going to do snap to grid. And I like to set my grid to about 16 by 16. I'm going to resize my wall a little bit. So now it fits into that sort of size. And I can start copy and pasting it. And now it's going to snap nice and easily. This is my first set of walls done. I'm going to right click, insert a new object, and a new sprite, and I'm going to call this wall 2. I'm going to use a sprite that I've already got, and I've got my new one here. And again, I'm just going to resize it just so it fits into the dimensions of the grid. And now this wall is going to be slightly different because it's going to be able to see the top, I'm just going to be able to see the back of it. So again, I'm just going to quickly copy and paste this wall and add it to all parts of my level. Now for the edges, I'm also just going to use wall two. Now to get the angle right, make sure you use the angle properties. This way you get an exact angle. So first one is going to be at 90 degrees this way. So I'm going to add that in. And for the second side, I want to make sure the detail is added on the other end, so I can just use minus 90 to go the opposite direction. And we'll place these ones in as well. So now I have my starting level created. Obviously I can take this much further instead of just having just a box. This just gives me a starting point. Now I've noticed that my ground is also quite dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on it and just lower the opacity of it on this side here. Down to, let's try 60, okay? Just as a little bit lighter. If I run my game, this has got what my player's gonna see when it starts into the game. So we've got our walls at the top. Maybe they can be placed a bit closer together because you can see a bit of gap between them on some of them. And we've got our walls at the bottom. In the next video, we'll start adding our first character to this level.